Welcome to the God Only Encouraging Message and Prayer Series. Messages from the heart of God to let you know you can boldly and confidently draw near to the throne of grace so that you can receive mercy for your failures and find grace to help in good time for every need. That appropriate help and well-timed help coming just when you need it. Listen, God knows the things you have need of before you even ask him. And he tells you that in Matthew 6, 8. So therefore you pray, knowing your Father knows those things that you have need of before you even ask him, and know that he's bringing them to you right now. And that when you pray, he's stirring you to ask for the very things that he wants to give to you when you ask according to his wishes and desire and change your wishes and desires for his wishes and desires. God wants you to realize how very special you are to him and how he delights in you, and how he wants you to relish the privilege you have to talk with him, delight in him, and what a friend you have in Jesus, who died for you to demonstrate his great love for you. God saw you when you were in your mother's womb. He knew your mother and your father and the circumstances of your home and where you would grow up, what schools you'd go to, where you would attend church, where you would go and live in a neighborhood, and who would live around you. God knew your ability to survive and walk with you in good times and bad times. God's been there the whole time. And he gave you the very ability to walk in his fullness and to walk in his power and his might, sheltered by his angels and guardian angels to keep and protect you. He chose you before the foundation of the world because he wanted you to be his child and to be holy and blameless before him in love, just as he tells you in Ephesians 1, 4. So we just pray, O Lord, that you would examine our heart because you know everything about us. You know when we stand up and you know when we sit down. You know our thoughts even when we're far off. And you see when we're traveling and when we're resting, you know what we're doing before we ever do it. You know everything about us. You know what I'm going to say and before I say it. You know what we're going to say before we say it, Lord. And you go before us and you follow us. You place your hand of blessing on our heads. And such knowledge is just too wonderful for us, Father God, to grasp, to understand how much you love us and how great your love is and how much your great understanding is for us. We can never escape your spirit and we can never get away from your presence because you are with us always. You never leave us nor forsake us. You will not, you will not, you will not in any way let us down and we thank you for it. We thank you that not only did you see us before we were born, but you actually recorded every day of our lives in your book. And you pre-knew what we would need before we needed it. You knew who we'd meet before we met them. You knew the circumstances we'd be up against before we knew we were coming against them. And you're the God who gives us the victory in every situation, circumstance, by the power of your might and your grace and your great mercy and your great love for us who love you. And we thank you for that, Father God. We thank you that you laid out every moment of our days before they pass. We thank you how precious your thoughts are to us, O oh God. And we can't even number. They're greater than the sands of the sea. And I thank you, Father God, that you love us with such a great love. There's no surrounding, no way of understanding it. Because greater is your love than what we can even ask, think, hope, or imagine. You've been there when we cried out to you, Lord. And you've been there when we laughed. You've been there when we are grieving because of the losses in our lives. And you're there to comfort and strengthen us and uphold us and build us up. And we thank you for it. We thank you that you watch over us. And you look toward the day in which we will be reunited with Jesus. And we thank you, Father God, for that. We thank you, Father God, that we have received from you your son, and he has came and he has made his home in us. It's no longer us who lives, but Christ lives in us. 
We are now the sons and daughters of the living God, children of the God Almighty. And as children of God, well, you have been given the power and the authority of his son. That means that you have the right and the authority not only to become a son, but to use his authority and use his power because your body is the temple of the living God in whom he dwells. You no longer have to long for fellowship. You don't have to desire God. God is in you, and he desires you to talk to him and speak to him more than you can desire to look for him. He's the one who draws you to himself. He's the one that opens up the doors so that you can open widely and come into his throne room. He's the one that clears out your hearing so you can hear his voice. He's the one that clears your vision so you can see him walking around you. God is the one. God is the one that does everything. And there's nothing that can change his love and his great mercy and grace for you. Because you're a child of the living God. So, Father, we just thank you in the name of Jesus that you've given us your grace and your mercy. And you've filled us with your very own spirit who lives in us permanently. And you work in us and through us and helping us to do greater than we can even think, hope, or imagine. By your grace, we enter into your throne with thanksgiving. And we rejoice with gladness before you. We come into your presence with singing. And we recognize and we perceive and we understand that you are God. And it's you who has made us and not we ourselves. We are your people and the sheep of your pasture. Father, we just enter into your gates with thanksgiving in your presence. We just offer thanks. We give you thanks for everything that you do. We praise you and thank you. And we enter into your court not only with thanks, but we are thankful and delighted to say so, Father God, because you have blessed us. Because you've blessed us, we praise your name. And we praise your name because of the future blessings that you'll give us. Because your blessings cause us to be at peace, Father God. You give us the blessing of peace. That's a spiritual blessing of peace that surpasses all understanding, that guards our hearts and minds and acts as umpire in our hearts, settling with all finality things that come to our attention. So we just thank you, Father God, that you're a good, good Father. You're the Lord God Most High. And we thank you for your Holy Spirit living in us. We thank you for your fruit that's in our lives that produces great harvest in other lives of others, Father God. We thank you for all these things. For we can't do anything better without you, Father God. And we thank you that you are with us and guiding us and helping us in all the affairs of life. We thank you, Father God, that you wish above all things that we should prosper and be in health, even as our souls prosper, and that you have blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, and that you, Father God, love us, and you make your face shine on us. You make your mercy and your grace shine through us to draw others to yourself, Father God, through Christ's mercy and grace that's been shown to us given us a testimony of his great strength in our life when we are weak. You love us, Father God, and we thank you for the life that you've given to us. We thank you, Father God, and we are grateful to come close to you, that you have given us a life that's a light to others and that delight to you. So we just thank you, Father God, for giving us the spirit of wisdom, revelation, and knowledge and understanding in the knowledge of you. Revelation in the mystery of Christ, that our lives are hidden with Christ in you. And it's no longer us who lives, but it's Christ who lives in us. For we are new creations in Christ Jesus, a new creature altogether. And because we are, we have a new father, a new life, a new purpose, and a new eternity. And we thank you for it. So I just rejoice in you, Lord, for your unconditional love and give Thanks at the remembrance of your holiness that we are world overcomers by the blood of the Lamb who has conveyed us into the kingdom of dark, into the kingdom of your dear Son and 
taken us away from the kingdom of darkness. And we thank you for it, Father God. For Jesus has redeemed us by the blood of his cross, given us eternal salvation. And we thank you for it, in Jesus' name. Now, Father God, to you who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I can even ask, think, hope, or imagine, to you be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Remember, trust God and leave all the consequences to him. He is more than able to do greater than you can even think, hope, ask, or imagine who loves you. And send his son to die for you. He loves you and I love you. And Jesus Christ is Lord over your spirit, soul, and body as he is mine. And he will help you in every affair of life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.